What's happening guys? Rome here. Today I'm going to mostly rave, maybe a little bit rant, about a not so little movie called War for the Planet of the Apes. This movie was directed by Matt Reeves. It stars Andy Serkis as Caesar in the mocap suit. It also stars Woody Harrelson. This is the third movie in the trilogy of the new Planet of the Apes reboot that happened several years ago. I believe with Dawn. This movie was amazing. This trilogy is amazing. I love it. I can't think of many other trilogies in recent years that even come close. The only one that even comes close is the Dark Knight trilogy from Christopher Nolan. Even that, I don't know if I would rank it higher than this Planet of the Apes trilogy. Anyone knowing me knows that I love the Dark Knight trilogy. I even bought the limited edition, collector's edition, Dark Knight trilogy box. It comes with figures. I am a Christopher Nolan fan, and I am a Batman fan. This is great to me. So, in context, this war, this Planet of the Apes series that is out now, that's how much I like it. So, to focus on the movie, what happens is different than you might expect. Um, this movie sort of turns into a prison escape movie. So, not to give anything away, but that's sort of the, the tone that you get from it. The acting is impeccable. I'm still wondering when they're going to start, when the Academy is going to start giving Andy Serkis and these other mocap actors some real shine for their performances. Because these performances are human. Sure, they're, perform they're performing as apes, but they're such human performances. I can't get enough of it, personally. It chokes me up sometimes even when I watch these movies that's how good they are and it's not just the performances it's also the writing these the writing in these movies is great these stories make you feel something for these characters where a lot of times in these types of movies you just won't and you won't be able to connect with them they won't resonate with you these guys do so Something I didn't like about the movie, I wasn't, wasn't big on Woody Harrelson's character. I really like Woody Harrelson as an actor. I'm just not so sure that that worked for me. Um, another thing that was somewhat of a letdown was that it felt like it was a very, I wouldn't say slow, but there was a methodical pace to the movie besides two scenes the opening scene and the final scene these two scenes it felt like they used 80 percent of their budget in these two scenes and then the other 80 percent of the movie they used 20 percent of their budget now that's not to say that the movie looked bad throughout the middle of it it was just that these two scenes were so amazing that I think I just wanted to see more of it. If I could see apes riding around on horseback, shooting guns, battling armies, I would watch that for one hour, two hours, three hours. I don't care. That's what I want to see. So, some people, if all you're looking for is a popcorn movie, blockbuster type, Transformers ask movie that's not what you're gonna get here these are different blockbusters these are a new age blockbuster that's what's so amazing about these movies is that it works on all levels you get your popcorn fluff action scenes you get your dramatic emotional heart-wrenching scenes it's all here so there's some minor, qu minor quibbles about the movie, but I'm a critical guy. These movies are amazing. You must watch this trilogy. 
If you haven't seen the first two, you must watch the first two before you watch this one. And that's okay. Take your time. You don't need to do it today. But at some point, everyone should watch these movies. Thanks for taking the time to check this out. I'll see you back here again.